to you, right ahead of you, our Mercedes Benz A200, the Mercedes Benz A250. Uh, which is our refreshing ACAST Facebook family in Malaysia. And we are very happy to introduce to you the refreshing and very fine um, lineup here for all, all the ACASTs, um, Facebook family, to change us up. That they come with a new um, design. The rear light and the tail lights have new design. The front bumper as well as the radiators wheels have been renewed. Um, all of the cars come with uh, diffusers in the rear end car and one of the most uh, common and new things is that all of the vehicles have power doors now, even our anti model A200 progressive line. For the interior, all of the models now carry our latest steering wheel generation with capacitive touch buttons as well as the latest generation of NVUX Telematics Generation 7. Uh, which brings along, for example, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, augmented reality for navigation. Um, now the A200 progressive line has been refined, you see already with the power doors, as well as with 17 inch, 5 grid spoke wheels, which we put on the car for a regular driving comfort. In the interior, we changed the trim part to a dark carbon fiber look trim part. This is a prefacing. No, no, no uh, power, power bulbs also. Notice, ah, uh? notice the power bulbs. Okay, okay. That one, semua tak ada power bulbs. Even the A200 has the power bulbs. Mm. So, senang ya. Yeah, preface leaf uh, A class. But some colors cannot really see. That that one. But you can see this. Yeah. Even the A35 has got no power bulbs. At least everything has the power bulbs. Uh, even the A200. But the car is being made flat by. But they drop the wheel size for the A200. Which I don't mind lah, tires, long term, expensive also. Plus 800, the, 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 I think it suits the engine with the right, performance. The, the, the right quality for the rear passenger isn't very good. Yeah, so I think with this Benun tires, it could be better. Yeah. The A250 is better, much, much better. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, because, because the A250 onwards have multi-link. This yes, one has yes, a more yes, basic yes, suspension, yes. so it's better off having a more yeah, basic. Uh, the, the 200, I really like the power train. Well, the Renault 1.33 liter, yeah, yeah, I really like. 1.3 liter. Like. Yeah. The power train now is a solution, but okay, yeah. right quality for your passenger. Yeah, but uh, but uh, the power train is a solution, but right quality for your passenger. Maybe now it's improved okay. because. But that one, but that one, I, I, I blame Malaysian Road lah. If you drive it on <laughs> here, no problem. Yes, yes, I think yes. today we won't feel anything also mm -hmm. when we drive. See, like this car, but with 17s, I think the ride will, will be better. Uh. Just don't change anything because you got comfort seats inside, no AMG line seats, mm -hmm. so everything is settled. Make sure to keep the speed below 40 while entering the pit lane and when we stop the car, don't forget to push the uh, parking button before you get down. So, just finished driving the A200 progressive line facelift and on Sepang, unfortunately you asked me about ride comfort, not much that can be said. It's down from 18 to 17 inch in terms of wheel size. So, uh, aside from that, 1.3 engine, 150 over horses, uh, feels actually good enough. 
it doesn't feel fast. It just feels like it's ample enough. The zero to hundred will do about eight something seconds, and all. It feels like it. Uh, in terms of, I think a daily drive, a city drive, car, urban commuter, I think it works very well. Instrumentation inside is all typically Mercedes Benz. Ergonomically sound, can uh, have any doubts about it or problem issues about it. I also think that in terms of in terms of seats, the progressive line has actually a larger, wider seats than the any ANJ line car, so it's actually very comfortable. So this is the comfort spec, and I spoke to the people at Mercedes-Benz Malaysia also. The, they decided to make sure that the A200 has the best comfort among all the lines, the A250, the A35, and also the A45. So, Driving in in Sepang, in terms of power delivery, handling and all, everything's adequate, everything's acceptable. Uh, how it drives is nice, everything's predictable, front wheel drive chassis. Uh, Pope from the 1.3 engine feels decently adequate with whatever horses and torque that it has and no complaints about that. Uh, what you like about the new car is you get the two double power bulges on the bonnet. Uh, different lights, different, slightly different trimming, different wheels, now down a size, but I think that is the best uh, compromise or in terms of right comfort and how it looks. Alright.